Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today's video, I wanted to show you my workflow that I'm discovering with Drum Machine Designer and the Step Sequencer in Logic Pro X 10.5. So the workflow has changed quite dramatically with the introduction of a lot of new features that are great for sequencing drums. So first things first, let's go ahead and create a drum machine designer a kit, or we're gonna set it up to where we can start building a kit with it. And all we need to do with that is just go in and uh, I have a browser open on my other screen here if you're wondering where I'm dragging things. I'm gonna go over there and let's just preview some kicks. All right, so let's just say we're gonna use that kick. All I need to do is just drag this over and we'll drag it onto this track and I'm going to insert a drum machine designer instance. So that will just open that kick up, load it into the first cell. But you're gonna notice in drum machine designer that it's now utilizing the new quick sampler plugin for each of these cells. So if I go over to the mixer and I unfold drum machine designer now, you'll see we have that kick. It has its own channel. It's in its own quick sampler. And then it also sets up a uh, reverb and a delay send for us in Drum Machine Designer. So really powerful, quick uh, setup there of our uh, drum kit. Now let's drag over a snare drum. And what we're going to do is drag it to that same track, the Drum Machine Designer, and add the sample to that kit. And it will do the same thing, just create a new quick sampler. You'll see that shows up now in our mixer and then we can sequence these independently. So for those of you who have asked how to open the sequencer, I just click the piano roll shortcut, which is P, and then you can scroll over. There's a specific shortcut, I just haven't set it up yet. But when you click these lanes, you'll see we have a sequencer that's independent for each of our drums. So let me pull over a, a hi-hat real quick, and then we'll start sequencing. And I wanna show you what we can do with the regions to do some very unique things in terms of uh, triplets and, and fast notes. So we'll drag that over, add it to the drum machine designer. And let me make sure that's, yeah, that'll work. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick sequence here. I'm gonna switch this to 32 steps. Okay, so let's just say we've got those hi-hats laid out and we wanted to you know, do some faster things, some triplets throughout that pattern. When I first got into this, I was trying to figure out, okay, if I set this to triplets, then it's just gonna play through that whole thing as triplets. But what if I wanted to you know, just have regular 16th notes and then throw in some triplets here and there in the pattern? All we need to do is just pull out our scissors tool and then we can just split the region and then we're gonna independently set that timing so we can throw in triplets or fast notes or whatever. So let's just say that we're gonna switch up this pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the shortcut to set the cycle for that so we can get this dialed in. And then I'm gonna unfold this lane so we can see the note repeat and velocity. And then we're gonna go down here and throw in some fast notes. All right, and let's say in this last one, I wanted to just throw in some triplets at the very end. So we'll go ahead and just do that. I'm gonna get rid of these, and we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna select 16th note triplets. And you'll notice that when I set that, that is independent for the region, not just the track. So these can play at regular 16th or whatever I set them at. And then this one can be 16th note triplets. So very powerful when you think about 
all of these regions that can be functioning with different timings and different clocks going at the same time. Uh, so let's uh, set some triplets here. Okay, so we got our triplets. Now let's hear the whole pattern now. Okay. So very easy to switch that up. Now the other thing that's cool about Drum Machine Designer now is that we can utilize loops in the same way, but we can actually slice them up in that same kit. So let's go ahead and let's find uh, maybe just a, uh, a hi-hat loop here. Okay, so we'll just drag that to the same kit, add sample, and what it will do by default is just have, you know, the full loop playing as a one shot. But all we have to do is select the slice function, same thing as in quick sampler, and it'll go ahead and it will slice that up once we select that lane. So we've got our slices there, and then I can just open up the sequencer and we can sequence that the same way as the rest. So let's just do a little pattern here. Okay, so now when we name this drum kit, we're gonna see that we've got that here and we've got all those channels independent, which a lot of you have been asking, you know, how to bounce out a drum, or excuse me, a, uh, a step sequence pattern with the drums independent of one another. So when we set it up in this way, we're gonna have all these channels separated. And speaking of which, we've got that uh, reverb and delay that it auto sets up, which is really convenient. So let's just say on the snare drum, We got that delay as well. So then once it's set up, all we have to do is just go up here to export whenever you get uh, ready to bounce down your beat. And we'll just go to desktop, create a new folder, call it drum kit tracks, can't spell. And then we're gonna do cycle range only, normalize off, hit export. So now when we go to that folder on the desktop, you're gonna see we have the full stem bounce, which is that entire drum kit loop. We've got our loops. So they're all bounced out, very, very easy to do that. So I hope that gives you guys a little bit of an idea of how to sequence your drums utilizing the step sequencer and also the new and improved drum machine designer, which incorporates the quick sampler for each drum cell, which is incredibly powerful to be able to have access to all these different controls, to also slice up loops all within that one plugin and in that same kit. So something that we couldn't do previously with Logic. And then also being able to control independent timing, triplets, you know, note values, for each region, not just per track, is incredibly powerful uh, in terms of sequencing drums. If you have any questions about how we utilize Drum Machine Designer and Step Sequencer, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learn anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. We'll talk to you soon.